Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Um, there are people around me, but I'm pretty sure everybody has headphones in. So, yeah. If you pour a handful of salt into a cup of water, the water becomes undrinkable. But if you pour the salt into a river, people can continue to draw the water to cook, wash, and drink. The river is immense, and it has the capacity to receive, embrace, and transform. When our hearts are small, our understanding and compassion are limited, and we suffer. We can't accept or tolerate others and their shortcomings, and we demand that they change. But when our hearts expand, these same things don't make us suffer anymore. Dirty money, clean money, make see the difference. Tell a bar, turn to lease some liquor for my niggas. Streets full of wolves, so my appetite grew. I was hungry for this rap shit way back in high school. Motivated, not somebody, you the rule. Coordinated my frame, slow in your view. Smoking on these green trees, I don't get the blues. If I see a nigga lurk, then I gotta chuck the blues. I was clocking out of work, work. On the same time, I was writing out of thirst. Working three jobs, I ain't wanna buy the perk. Friends to leave the cold turf. It was ADHD, smoking weed before church. Now I'm back for Tap dance on the platform with the Mask on, hit the squad for the bathroom. Want it, want it, now I gotta last long, dog. I just get a bigger jaw if he act wrong. Us, I did the pain. We can't accept or tolerate others and their shortcomings, and we demand that they change. But when our hearts expand, these same things don't make us suffer anymore. We have a lot of understanding and compassion and can embrace others. We accept others as they are, and then they have a chance to transform. The question then becomes how to grow our own hearts, which begins with a commitment to understand and bear witness to our own suffering. When we feed and support our own happiness, we are nourishing our ability to love. That's why to love means to learn the art of nourishing our happiness. Understanding someone's suffering is the best gift you can give another person. Understanding is love's other name. If you don't understand, you cannot love. If our parents didn't love and understand each other, how are we to know what love looks like? The most precious inheritance that parents can give their children is their own happiness. Our parents may be able to leave us money, houses, and land, but they may not be happy people. But they may not be happy people. If we have happy parents, we have received the richest inheritance of all. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. All right, I sort of relocated. It's, there's kind of even more people around me, but they're all like moving and doing their own thing instead of sitting next to me So it feels a little bit less weird. Now it definitely still feels weird. Now there's just people walking right next to me I don't give a fuck. Those are some crazy shoes 
Nathan points out the crucial difference between infatuation, which replaces any real understanding of the other with a fantasy of who he or she can be for us and true love. Hmm. The crucial difference between infatuation, which replaces any real understanding of the other with a fantasy of who he or she can be for us, and true love. Often we get crushes on others often we get crushes on others not because we truly love and understand them, but to distract ourselves from our own suffering. When we learn how to love and understand ourselves and have true compassion for others, then we can truly love and understand another person. Sometimes we feel empty. We feel a vacuum, a great lack of something. We don't know the cause, it's very vague, but that feeling of being empty inside is very strong. We expect and hope for something much better so we'll feel less alone, less empty. The desire to understand ourselves and to understand life is a deep thirst. There's also the deep thirst to be loved and to love. We are ready to love and be loved. It is very natural. But because we feel empty, we try to find an object of our love. Sometimes we haven't had the time to understand ourselves yet. To understand ourselves. Yet already, yet, oh my god distractions. Sometimes we haven't had the time to understand ourselves, yet we've already found the object of our love. When we realize that all our hopes and expectations of course can't be fulfilled by that person, we continue to feel empty. You want to find something, but you don't know what to search for. In everyone there's a continuous desire and expectation, deep inside, you still expect something better to happen. That is why you check your email many times a day. The essence of loving kindness is being able to offer happiness. You can be the sunshine for another person. You can't offer happiness until you have it for yourself. So build a home inside for accept by accepting yourself and learning to love and heal yourself. Learn how to practice mindfulness in such a way that you can create moments of happiness and joy for your own nourishment. Then you have something to offer the other person. If you have enough understanding and love, then every moment, whether it's spent making breakfast, driving the car, watering the garden, or doing anything else in your day, can be a moment of joy. In a deep relationship, there is no longer a boundary between you and the other person. You are her and she is you. Your suffering is her suffering. Your understanding of your own suffering helps your loved one to suffer less. Suffering and happiness are no longer individual matters. What happens to your loved one happens to you. What happ happens to you happens to your loved one. In true love, there is no separation or discrimination. His happiness is your happiness. Your suffering is his suffering. You can no longer say, that's your problem. When you love someone, you have to have trust and confidence. Love without trust is not yet love. Of course, you first have to have trust, respect, and confidence in yourself. Trust that you have a good, a good and compassionate nature. You are part of the universe. You are made of stars. This, this trash can behind me is just like never endingly relocating itself. You are part of the universe. You are made of stars. When you look at your loved one, you see that he is also made of stars and carries eternity inside. Looking in this way, we naturally feel reverence. True love cannot be without trust and respect for oneself and for the other person. To love without knowing how to love wounds the person we love. To know how to love someone, we have to understand them. To understand them, we need to listen. 
When you love someone, you should have the capacity to bring relief and help him to suffer less. This is an art. If you don't understand the roots of his suffering, you can't help. Just as a doctor can't help heal your il illness if she doesn't know the cause. You need to understand the cause of your loved one's suffering in order to help bring relief. The more you understand, the more you love. The more you love, the more you understand. They are two sides of one reality. The mind of love and the mind of understanding are the same. Often we say, I love you. We focus mostly on the idea of the I, who is doing the loving and less on the quality of the love that's being offered. This is because we are caught by the idea of the self. We think we have a self, but there is no such thing as an individual separate self. A flower is made only of non-flower elements such as chlorophyll, sunlight, and water. If we were to remove all the non-flower elements from the flower, there would be no flower left. A flower cannot be by herself alone. A flower can only interbe with all of us. Humans are like this too. We can't exist by ourselves alone. We can only interbe. I am made only of non-me elements, such as the earth, the sun, parents, and ancestors. In a relationship, if you can see the nature of interbeing between you and the other person, you can see that his suffering is your own suffering and your happiness is his own happiness. With this way of seeing, you speak and act differently. This in itself can relieve so much suffering. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.